Hello everyone and welcome to Clarity 16.0.1 Supportability and Feature Training. I am Vib Marotra and in this section we will be talking about the to-do enhancements. As part of this release, we are introducing the capability to define to-dos at the investment level. The new to-do modules in the investment blueprints will be available so that the customers can see their investment and task level to-dos in one place. We are also making enhancement to the to-do workspace to show investment and task defined to-dos. The reason this is important is because customers have been using to-dos for several releases of Clarity. However, the request had come where customers want to be able to define to-dos at the investment level rather than always at the task level. Starting 16.0.1, customers will be able to do that. In addition, having investment level to-dos will allow customers to have better collaboration between their team members. So introducing in 16.0.1, customers now have the ability to create to-dos at the investment level. There's going to be a central place within the investment where the investment and task level to-dos can be managed. In order to distinguish between the two types of uh, to-dos, uh, the following new attributes have been introduced in this release. A parent, which will show the name of the to-do parent. Parent type, which will show whether it's an investment level to-do or a task level to-do. And a parent ID, which will be the ID of the parent itself. All of this data can be seen in the new to-do module that is going to be available in all investments. Managing to-dos has also become more simpler now with a central place within the investment to be able to do that. Within this uh, to-do module that is going to be available in uh, all investments, the following can be done. At the task level to-dos, the user can edit, delete, and view the task level to-dos. In addition, they can also create, edit, delete, and view investment level to-dos. In order for the user to be able to uh, manage these to-dos, they will need the following access rights. They will need the to-do view, edit, create, delete all, as well as in the investment view access right. Because the new to-do is using the common grid, all common grid functionality is available, such as the export to CSV, the saving of the views, and so on. This also allows the bulk editing of data, so multiple to-dos can be selected and their data can be edited in this one central place. As mentioned, there is a new to-do module that is going to be available. This new to-do module is available in the projects, idea, and custom investment type blueprints. Business rules can also be defined against these to-do modules to hide them where not uh, needed. The to-do at the investment level can be defined within the templates. And when a new investment is created using the create from template, the investment level to-dos are also copied over to the new investment that is created from template. After the copy, the to-do owners are retained in the new project, thus making it easier for users to manage the to-do level investments. The to-do workspace has been enhanced now, when the end user goes to the to-do workspace, they will see two pages available to them. The first one is going to be the investment that, when navigating there, will show all the investment level to-dos only. The second page is the task, which will show all the task-defined to-dos. The to-do data from these two uh, pages can be edited as well as deleted. However, to create a new to-do, the user will have to do that within the investment itself. There is an implicit filter applied in the investment level to do where it will only display the data from the active and non-template investments. There is also the capability to visualize the data using the widgets and these uh, grids support bulk editing. There is also a new attribute available which is the assigned resource that can be included in the task or uh, in the task grid. So with that, let's see the product in action. So here I am in Clarity 16.0.1 
And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the blueprints within the administrative. So I'm going to go into our new blueprint grid. And from here, I can see all the different uh, investment types I have. And I can go into the different blueprints. The first, I'm going to go into the project blueprint. And when I navigate to the modules, I can see the new to do module has been included in here. Adding a module is the same as how it was before, where you can edit it and then drag the uh, available modules to your uh, included module section. The next, I'm just going to show the same by going into the ideas to show that we have the same to do module available in ideas. And finally, I'm going to go into my custom investment type and show that I have the same to do module available in my custom investment type. Again, for the demo purposes, I have already included all of these uh, modules in my blueprint. And like I mentioned, adding them is the same behavior by just dragging and dropping. Next, let's go into one of my project and let's see that when I have uh, to do's defined in them, how I can manage them in a central location. So in this case, I'm going to go into my project incident response playbook. And when I'm in my project, you can see that my to do module is already included in here. Navigating to my to do module will show me my to do's that have been created either at the task level and at the project level. By default, you will see um, all of the data in a column view. I have uh, for demo purposes, group them by parent type. So this is a view that I have defined uh, by grouping them by parent type. So now I can easily see my task level to do's. And that's because I ha have included the new parent type attribute um, that tells me which one is a task level to do and which one is a project level to do. There's also the new uh, attribute added here, which is the parent that tells me the parent of my to do itself. So the task level to do's functionality is the same where I can double click and edit any of that data. And now I'm going to just expand and show the project level. So these are the to do's I've created at the project level itself. Uh, they're only available or displayed within my to do modules and nowhere else. Next, let's go ahead and create a new to do and in order to create a new investment level to do, I will have to do that within the same to do module. So now I've changed my view where I can see my data by due dates. And to create a new investment level to do, I can do it in one of two ways. I can either use the add button or I can do the right mouse and insert new row below. So let's go ahead and do that. The new investment level to do that I'm going to define is to set up my monthly stage reviews. That's one of an important task for a PM to define their stage level, uh, their stage review meetings. I am going to by automatically, as you can see that when I created it in the to do module, it automatically populated the parent as my project name. And it is populated the parent type as project. I can specify who is going to be the to do owner. And I can give this a date, which would be the January 15th of this month. This is now created and is available. I can also edit any existing uh, project uh, to do's, or I can edit any of the existing um, task level to do's from the same module. To do that, I can just double click and I can change this one to belong to Paul Martin also, who's going to be my project manager. So I just change the project level to do and I can change the, the due date for my task level to do's. So in this case, this is going to be delayed. I'm going to change this to a later date. And I can also say that this is completed. So I can edit my to do's from the uh, to do module within the investment itself. Next, I'm going to go into ideas. And within the ideas, I have the same 
uh, to do. So I'm just going to navigate to any one of my existing ideas. And here I can go into the to do module and see the different ideas, uh, uh, the, the to do's that I can create at the idea level. And it's the same functionality. Next, I'm going to go into my projects itself. And I'm going to look at uh, the, um, one of my template where I have created to do's at the template level. So I'm going to go into my major project template. And within here, I can see that I have defined to do's at the task and at the project level. Let's change my view so I can see them grouped. So here are my project level. And you can see that they've been assigned to uh, their respective owners. So next, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project from my template using the major project as my uh, source template. The expectation is that when I create my new project, I should be able to see the investment level to do's now uh, copied over. So I'm going to create one, which is going to be my television marketing. I'm going to specify the dates, and I'm going to have this for a future time because this project needs uh, several reviews. I'm going to have the strategy is just going to be delighting of the customers and my sponsor is going to be Dana Lewis. Once this project is created you would see that the to do's are copied over the task level to do's are brought over and auto adjusted based on the ETCs that are assigned to the uh, task itself and the investment level to do's are also copied over bringing the um, the to do owners in there. So now that my project is created, I'm going to go into the to do's. And right here, you can see that my to do's have been brought over that is at the investment level along with their owners and I can see my task to do's have been brought over with their owners and the dates are adjusted based on the um, the ETCs that were assigned to my task itself. All right next let's go into our to do workspace. So coming in here you can see there is the investment level page right here as well as my task level page. The task level page is exactly what used to be there prior to 16.0.1 where I could see all the task level to do's. I could define the widgets there. Going into the investment level, you can see all my investment level to do's only. All the columns are related to the investment, the task and the to do's are available to me which can be seen and added from right here. The to-dos level, the common investment, and the project level columns are all available to me to view right here. I also have the ability to define widgets to visualize my data. And from here, I can edit any one of my um, to-dos data only. I cannot, edit, I cannot edit any investment level data from this to-do. And I also have the ability to perform bulk edits. I can select multiple of these. I get the option. I can click on edit and now I can modify the data as I need to. Again, the bulk fu editing functionality is the same as before. So I'm not going to go through all of those. Uh, and of course, by selecting multiple of these, I also have the option to do bulk deletion. And this concludes our section. Thank you, everyone.